All right, I'm gonna go over as fast as I can here how to install ThrowJoint on your avatar. Firstly, you wanna pull in the ThrowJoint package and you wanna pull in the VR Labs Avatars 3.0 Manager package. If you go ahead and check the README, when you pull in ThrowJoint, I'll have a link to that. Go ahead and go into ThrowJoint and grab the main container and drag it underneath your avatar in the hierarchy. You wanna right click it and unpack prefab completely. You wanna take the left and the right wrist parent lock and drag it out to the base of the hierarchy. So that's on the same level as your avatar. You want to take the right wrist parent lock. I like to go on isometric front view. Grab that, drag it over. This looks about right here. Go to top down view. Drag it right in front of my finger. That looks about good. And then what I'm going to do is take the right wrist parent lock. I'm going to go up to the inspector. I'm going to do a copy component. Then I'm going to go to left wrist parent lock. And I'm going to go up back to the inspector and hit the gear and do paste component values. Then I'm going to go into the X position and hit negative. That's going to center it. Then you want to do throw joint main container. You want to click on it and then click on the check bar and then go ahead and uncheck it. And then you want to go to container and you want to uncheck that as well. So that way uh, you got to make sure that the parent constraint is unchecked and the container is um, hidden whenever you upload. Then you want to go into your armature, find left and right wrist and you want to drag the left wrist parent lock onto your left wrist and the right wrist parent lock onto your right wrist. And that's the physical setup done. Um, actually, no, there's one more step. Apologies. Uh, go to the container, go to ball, click on ghosty. Then you want to go to spine, chest, neck, and head. You want to grab the head and you want to drag it onto sources and hit activate. Um, and that's the physical setup done now. And now we just have to do the logic step. So if you'll go and open up VR Labs Avatars 3.0 Manager over here, drag it wherever you want to do, and you grab your avatar, drag it into the avatar slot, click the effects layer on the drop down. You want to drag in your effects layer. You want to scroll all the way down, hit add animator to merge. And then you want to go to the merge me with effects layer, drag that onto your controller, merge as new. It's going to create a new um, effects layer so that way you don't overwrite anything by accident on your old one. And you go ahead and look over it, make sure it looks good. So see enabled, no gravity, faster, tracers, and LMFAO. You should see those as booleans in your parameters. And you'll go to layers and scroll all the way down and you should see the throw joint and it's uh, six layers here. And that looks good to go. And then we want to copy over the parameters. So you go into expressions in my package, you go to throw joint parameters and you want to grab these five parameters and copy paste them into your expression parameters. Make sure they're all Booleans. Go ahead and copy them all down. And once you've done that, go to your main menu and you want to go to the inspector. You want to scroll to wherever you want, hit add control, call it spring joint, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to go to button, hit sub menu, and then go into expressions in my throw joint package, grab the throw joint menu and drag it into sub menu. And that's the whole setup done.